And then one day I was walking just off campus. And, and I felt like I was really feeling good about my life and everything I was achieving. And I thought, here I am. I'm involved in all this stuff. I'm big brothers. I'm academic, all-American. I'm doing all kinds of stuff that I think is important. I'm involved in my community, and I think people appreciate it, you know, the meat stuff. I thought, this is great. Car whizzes by, beeps the horn, waves out the window frantically. Well, that's a meech. Yeah. <laughs> Another car goes by, window winds down, jams the brakes on. I've got my hand right here. I know what's coming. All of a sudden, out the window, this gig goes, bigger. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. And it was interesting because it affected everything. Some random kid in the back of a crappy car that I can't even describe. I mean, what do you call those things? The, the party at the back and the, the mullet. He had a mullet, for God's sake. <laughs> and yet, what was interesting about it was that all of a sudden, I had felt myself this person that was rounded that had a bit of everything going on, that was involved and connected to people in a real way. I felt that they were looking at me, and when they saw me, they didn't just see someone bouncing a ball, they saw a bit more than that. And some random stranger, someone I've never seen since, I don't think, someone I'd certainly never met before, someone not connected to me in any way, yelled that word out of the window, and my world kind of crushed. There I was, an, as an athlete at that time, and in shape. Nowadays, I eat cake, so. <laughs> That's why, that's why that is so shamefully different. Um, it's okay. He didn't have an OBE, so it's all right. 